Hi, I'm Erin with Fire Parks Yoga. Thank you so much for joining me for class today. Today's class is going to be a quick vinyasa flow. So this class is perfect for you if you don't have a lot of time and want to move at a good pace without a lot of holds, although we will hit a lot of postures and um, definitely warm up and cool down and shavasana as always. So come into a comfortable seated position and we're just gonna get moving. So bring your legs crossed or any other comfortable seated position that works for you. Hands onto your knees, reach up through the crown of your head, close your eyes. Let's take three deep breaths here. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. In through your nose, out through your nose. One more, just like that. In through your nose, out through your nose. All right, so let's start moving breath to movement. So go with the pace of your own breath. So we're gonna move at a, a good pace, but do not overexert yourself moving against your breath. So breathe in, bring your arms up overhead, come off to the left for a side bend as you breathe out. Come back to center and off to the right. Come back to center, both arms up overhead, right hand to left knee, to for a twist, look out over your shoulder, come back to center, switch sides, left hand to right knee, look out over your shoulder, come back to center, bring your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, expand your chest as you breathe in, and then forward fold as you breathe out. Inhale, come all the way back up. Release your hands, switch the cross of your legs. So right leg in front of left, bring your hands out behind you. Lift your chest, breathe in, and then walk your hands forward, breathe out. So you should feel a different stretch on this side. And then walk your hands back up and come all the way into a tabletop position. And then a couple of cat cows, so breathe in and breathe out. Round your spine, breathe in, drop your belly. Breathe out, round your spine. Come back to tabletop. Extend your left arm forward, your right leg back. Breathe in and out, round your spine, tap elbow to knee. Breathe in and release back to tabletop position. And let's switch sides. So right arm forward, left leg out. Breathe in, breathe out, round your spine. Breathe in, extend. Breathe out, back to tabletop position. Tuck all 10 toes under and then come into a downward facing dog position and pedal your legs just for a couple of breaths. So continue breathing in and out through your nose, bend and straighten one leg at a time. And release both heels down toward the floor for a nice, strong, steady downward facing dog. On your next breath in, bring your le right leg up behind you for three legged dog. Open your hip, bend your leg, and exhale. Bring your right knee to your right elbow. Just tap it. Inhale, three legged dog. Straight up behind you. Exhale 
tap right knee to right elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Right knee to right elbow. Three-legged dog. Right knee to right elbow. Right knee to left elbow. Back to right elbow. Three-legged dog. Place your right foot between your hands as you exhale. Keep your left heel lifted. Rise up, crescent lunge. Inhale, breath. Exhale, tap your left knee down toward your mat and cactus your arms. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, low lunge, both hands down to your mat. Step back, high plank and hold. Even though I said no holds, we're gonna have movement in this position. So tap your right knee and your left knee. Right, left, keep it going. Right, left. Keep moving. Two, one, high plank down dog. Right away, lift your left leg up, open your hip, bend your leg, straighten your leg, three-legged dog, left knee, left elbow, tap it. Three-legged dog straight up behind you, and tap left, knee, left elbow. Extend, tap, extend, tap, extend, tap, and now bring your left knee to your right elbow. One last time. Three-legged dog, reach your left leg up behind you. From three-legged dog, place your left foot between your hands. Keep your right heel lifted. Bring both arms up overhead for crescent lunge. Breathe in. Exhale, tap your right knee to the floor, cactus your arms. Inhale, press it back up, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, low lunge. Back to high plank. This time just press forward and then down chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, back to downward facing dog and we're just gonna keep it moving. So lift your right leg up. Step your right foot between your hands. Inhale, come up to crescent lunge. Keep your back heel lifted. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, five-pointed star this time. Exhale, prayer squat. Hands to your heart. Sink down into your squat. Inhale five-pointed star. Exhale, prayer squat. Five-pointed star, rise up. Exhale, prayer squat. Inhale, five-pointed star. Exhale, standing straddle splits. Heels behind your toes, arms off to the side, hinging from your hips. Come all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, side lunge to the front of your mat. For me, that's my right leg. It might be your left leg from here. Breathe in. And out. Make your way to the back of your mat. Side lunge, hands at your heart or on the floor. 
Breathe in and out. Place your hands on the floor if they're not already. Walk your way back to a low lunge at the back of your mat, so on your left leg. Inhale, bring your right leg up behind you so you're in a standing splits position. Look back, I guess, toward the front of your mat now. And then exhale, Jiva squat. Inhale, standing splits. Exhale, squat. Standing splits. Squat. Standing splits. And then big step back, low lunge. Place your right hand on your mat, and then you're gonna come into a side plank. So bring your left foot to meet your right. Lift your left arm up. Breathe in. And then exhale, chaturanga. Bring your left hand back to your mat. Lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale your right leg up. So your same leg, step forward to a low lunge position. Inhale, crescent, breathe in as you lift your arms up. Breathe out as you extend into warrior two. Breathe in, five pointed star. Breathe out, prayer squat. As you breathe in, come back up to five pointed star. Return to warrior two at the front of your mat as you exhale, looking out over your left arm, reverse warrior. Low lunge, high plank, chaturanga, lower down dog, downward facing dog. All right, moving right into the other side. Lift your left leg up for a three-legged dog. Step your left foot between your hands. Inhale, rise up to crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, five-pointed star. Exhale, this time come into goddess pose. You're gonna flip your palms so they face each other. Come back into a low squat. Bring your arms to a goal pose position. Inhale, rise up, five-pointed star. Exhale, come into sun god pose, so arms parallel. Palms face up, sink low into your squat. Inhale back up to five-pointed star. Exhale, moon god pose. So bring your elbows to your waist, palms face out, squeeze your shoulder blades, and sink into a low squat. Inhale, five-pointed star. And then exhale, bring your heels behind your toes, standing straddle splits. Come all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale. Side lunge to the front of your mat. So bring your, well, it's gonna be my left toes to an angle. You can have your hands at your heart or on your mat and then side lunge to the back of your mat. And then walk your hands to the back of your mat so you're in a low lunge on your right leg. And then inhale, lift your left leg off of your mat so you're in standing splits. Look back at the back of your mat. Lift your left leg high and then Jiva squat. So left knee behind your right. Squat down, squeeze it in. Inhale, exhale, squeeze it in. Lift and lower. Lift. Lower. Lift up. Big step back so you're in low lunge. Place your left hand on your mat. Bring your right foot to meet your left so you're in side plank. Lift your right arm up. Breathe in. Not holding it. 
and then exhale, chaturanga, lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog, and then exhale. Make your way back to downward facing dog. Right away, lift your left leg up so this is your same leg. Step your left foot between your hands so you're in a low lunge position. Inhale, crescent lunge, rise up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, five pointed star. Exhale, warrior two to the front of your mat. Reverse warrior. Exhale, low lunge. Place your hands on your mat. Step back, high plank. Lower, shift forward, lower down. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Back to downward facing dog. All right, from here, moving into some balancing postures without long holds, we're just gonna move from one balance posture to the next. So again, moving with your breath, just establish your balance in the posture and then move on to the next posture. Inhale, lift your right leg high, three-legged dog, step forward, low lunge. Lift your arms up overhead, crescent lunge, breathe in. And then exhale, come into airplane pose. So standing on your right leg, lifting your left leg up off the floor, reaching your arms back. Take an inhale here. And then exhale, come into half moon pose. You're gonna take your right hand to the block or the floor and lift your left arm up overhead. And then exhale, Come back to a standing splits pose. So lower your left hand to the floor, lift your left leg up, make your way from standing splits to standing staff. So balancing on your right leg, bringing your left leg through, coming up into a 90 degree angle or extending your leg straight and then making your way to eagle pose. So left leg around right Right, leg, right arm underneath left, and balancing here. And then come into a modified five-pointed star. And then make your way all the way back to a low lunge position. So place your hands down on the floor. Extend your left leg back behind you. Step your right foot to meet your left, so you're back in a side plank position. And then from here, extend your right arm forward. Bring your right elbow to your right knee and tap it for three, two, one, and then come back into a high plank position, chaturanga, upward facing dog, back to downward facing dog, and then right away, lift your left leg up. So you're in a three leg, legged dog position, low lunge, high lunge, Come up to crescent, lifting your arms up overhead, and then make your way to airplane pose. Lifting your right leg up off the floor, extending your arms back behind you, and then come into half moon position. So lowering your left hand to the floor or block, reaching your right arm up, and then make your way to standing splits. So right arm back to the floor, level your hips, look back to the back of your mat before you make your way up to standing staff. So you're gonna balance on your left leg, bring your arms up overhead, come into either a 90 degree position with your right leg or extended straight out in front of you and then eagle pose. So wrap your right leg around your left and your left arm underneath your right. Eagle pose. And then make your way to a modified five-pointed star. So extend your right leg to the right, arms to an angle, palms face out, and then a big movement all the way back to low lunge position. So place your hands on the floor, right leg all the way back, Place your hands 
down on your mat and then bring your left foot to meet your right. Reach your left arm up overhead. Extend your left arm forward and then tap left elbow, left knee for three, two, one. And then back to high plank, shift forward, chaturanga, upward facing dog. Back to downward facing dog. And then look forward toward your hands and make your way to boat pose. So you can step or hop through to boat pose, lifting both feet up off of your mat, extending your arms forward toward your feet. And then you can hold here we're not holding, so just take a breath in and then extend low boat. High boat, low. Keep going. Two, one, take hold of your knees and then place your feet flat to the floor, lower down onto your back, place your arms alongside your body, palms face down, and bring your heels in a little bit closer, and then lift your hips up, lift and lower, lift and lower. This is two and one, lower down. Draw your knees into your chest. Bring your arms to a capital T position. And then bring your knees, your legs to a 90 degree angle and bring them to the left. Lower, just to hover, come back to center. So an active twist, core strengthener to the right. Back to center, to the left. And the right. You can do this with straight legs if you want more of a challenge for your core. To the right. To the left. Right, come back to center. Hug your knees into your chest. Hold on to your right knee with both hands. Extend your left leg down to the floor. So straight leg, and then extend your right leg up toward the ceiling. So this is gonna be a combo stretch and core strengthener. So from this position, just lift your shoulders up off the floor. Extend your arms straight toward the front of your mat. Lift your left leg up off the floor. Flex both feet back so you have active legs. And then just lift and lower for five, four, three, two, one. Hug your knees into your chest. Extend your right leg flat to the floor. Hold on to your left knee with both hands. Extend your left leg up to the ceiling. Lift your shoulders up off the floor. Lift your right leg up off the floor. Extend both arms toward your right foot. And then lift and lower for five, four, three, two, one. Hug your knees into your chest. And then extend your legs long for Shavasana. Letting your Legs be wide and your feet fall open. Arms alongside your body, palms face up. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Big exhale through your mouth. Come back to the natural rhythm of your breath. Relax your body for these last few moments of class.
have the time, please extend your Shavasana. Thank you so much for joining me for class today. Today, as you go forward, may you have peace in your thoughts, peace in your words, and peace in your heart. From my heart to yours, namaste.